Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday, December 28th, 2023. Two days left in the uh, training year or trading year. Then we kick off 2024. Stocks are somewhat flat again. No, oh, kind of a wild day yesterday, really. There's a couple of times where stocks, uh, S and P, plummeted, then it, then it shot back up, and then it came back down. Things can be a little wacky. We're at the end of the year, so. Because things can be a little uncertain here in the last couple of days. Make sure you have a good idea of your position sizing. I always tend to position size a little bit smaller in this time of year. Thousand looks like it's going to start in the red. S and P looks like it's going to start in the red, and the Nasdaq uh, is going to start in the green. And somebody sent me yesterday uh, an article. Somebody texted me, a friend of mine texted me this article about how somebody's predicting a black swan event in 2024. <laughs> I just kind of chuckled. I'm like, yeah, I mean, people try to, people predict that stuff all the time and never, you know, that's really going out on a limb considering we are at all time highs. I mean, we're at all time highs. It's pretty easy to predict a big drawback. That's another reason I don't trade the news. Morning, Deox. Today we trade the one DTE. The one data expiration, so make sure you're on that one. Some stocks pushing up, some stocks pushing down. It's not all that uncommon this time of year.
Amazon, Netflix, NVIDIA pushing down. Some of the other tech stocks pushing up. I made a mistake yesterday. One of my other accounts, I had some Baidu calls that I was, I was holding for because of NTT. <clears throat> and Baidu had kind of, for the last few days, just kind of slowly been down, been going down. So I just, I just cut my losses, didn't necessarily follow the NTT rules. And now you can see Baidu's up three and a half percent. Uh, when in doubt, follow the rules, Chad. I'm real. Would have been a been up big time today. So the Dow's in the red, barely. S&P pushed up here this five minutes. Coming down a little bit. NASDAQ has gotten weaker. So we'll see what the second bar brings. Can't imagine premiums are very high for zero DTE. Those that trade that strategy, but take a quick peek here as we're waiting on the second bar. Yeah, not the greatest. So we'll take a look at uh, the volume bars here and see if we can get one bigger than the first and in the same direction. Yeah, oops, that stink. Seeing any you know, Roku maybe getting a little bit of volume here. DKNG possibly.
opening Bumblebee. So not really seeing anything jumping out in terms of volume runners. DK and G may, maybe here. I do. Just kill, kicking myself for cutting those calls yesterday. It would have been up huge today. So DK and G is pushing up here. We take a peek at that and toss. Definitely looks like it's bigger than the first. Yeah, definitely. Roku did not quite get there. Man, Amazon company, Amazon staying weak today. So just gonna be patient. Like I said, this time of year it's sometimes struggle to get setups. This trading is light. Pull back in DK and G. She's just blasting upward. Take another look at Broku. Or was really close. It's pulling back. So let me see. Yeah, it didn't quite get there. Yeah, it was close. Wouldn't be surprised to see Roku reverse and rip. It needed about another tick or two. <clears throat>
Apple and Amazon, kind of opposites. And DKNG with another big volume bar. <clears throat> Boeing looking like it may get a big bar to the downside. DKNG pulling back a little bit here. What are the options like in DKNG? Pretty cheap. Pretty cheap. Yeah, BA is getting a big volume bar to the downside. So we need to see a bounce in it. Yeah, DKNG would be an upside volume runner. And it'd be a good time to pull back or a good time to enter right now. But the problem is, is it's just too cheap for me. I mean, if you want something that, I mean, I think they were like 58 cents or something. Boeing, no, no bouncing it at all. Roblox pushing through highs. Roblox getting a big volume bar to the upside now. Another big volume bar in Boeing. I'm still not in anything because I just haven't been able to get anything worth getting into. Roblox starting to pull back a little bit. Still plenty of time on that bar in Roblox. I mean, it could flip red. Who knows?
Roblox too is it's such a tight range. I mean, it's a it's a tick away from being a red volume bar too. So if you got to stay away from Roblox. DK and Jeep pulling back here. Tesla falling. Tesla's actually got a little mighty 90. Let me take a look at that in toss. Yeah, Tesla. Okay, I'm like I'm gonna get long Tesla here on a mighty ninety on this little push down. See, I would do the two sixty calls. Build at three ninety five, so I just kind of jumped in before it bounced. And it may it may push down more, I don't know. But I always position size my mighty nineties to add. No. Nah. I had this green bar here, so you, you need need two bars that look like Tesla. Um Uh, I, I got in Tesla Mighty 90. Yeah, 1DT. And you can definitely get a better fill than I got. You know, Mr. Tesla. And I would close half my Tesla at 440. So I'll just put that in in case it bounces up. <clears throat> see what our future's doing kind of just chopping right now yeah I already, I already mentioned Roblox I wasn't not interested in that one I, I talked about that one earlier Um, yeah, maybe you were in the bathroom whenever I talked about that one. It's just too tight of a range. So DK and G uh, coming back down. So I'm glad I didn't get in that volume runner right there. It could still bounce, who knows?
Tesla's still coming down. So I may have to add to Tesla here. But before that, I'm going to make sure that Spard isn't as big as the first. Otherwise, it would turn into a downside volume runner. Yeah, it doesn't look like it is. So I'm going to add the Tesla. Build at 345. To add to it. What else we got? And going in another big volume bar, it's kind of popped up a little bit. Kind of looking at Boeing here for a downside volume runner. Only thing is, I don't like that pivot right there. It may stay above the pivot. But I'm going to go ahead and get short Boeing. On the 260 puts. Trying to get filled at 175. Filled at 176. That was the 265 puts. I'm sorry, two, 260 puts, not 265. I'm sorry. 260 puts. Uh, 10%. So while well, Tesla, I got filled at 345 on that, on the ad. So 10% of that is 34 cents. So I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and put a order in at 395, which was my original fill close half. And then Boeing, filled at 176, so 17 cents. So that would be 193. So I'll just say 195. I'll put a word in at Boeing at 195. So both mighty 90s, so looking for two consecutive bars. I'm sorry, no, Boeing's a volume runner. Looking for two consecutive bars in Tesla.
Going struggling a little bit. I wish we would go down below that pivot, though. So we got one green bar in Tesla. Need one more. One more push up like it just did. Ah, that's like coming back down, darn it. Amazon's slowly creeping back up. It's working on its fourth green bar in a row. Video working on another green bar. So you can see Roblox, that volume runner, it's just not going anywhere. I mean, it's such a tight range. One DTE, I mean, you'll experience some theta decay if you're in it very long. <laughs> Definitely like to see trades be quicker than normal in the one DTE days. <laughs> Boeing, look at this, just constant consolidation here. I bet it just blows up here in a second. You kind of see the volume, how it's just not a lot of low volume in most of these stocks. It's just the time of year. Oh, AMD pushed through highs. Disney's on a rip. Got a couple minutes left here. Maybe Tesla will flip here and give us a second green bar. That'd be nice. Need Boeing to push through lows. DKNG trying to rebound. Don't think Tesla's going to give us another green bar yet. <clears throat> Need Boeing to push through lows. I think I'll get filled if it can push through lows. Not really seeing anything else. Microsoft pushed through lows. Apple coming down through lows.
Tesla coming down through lows, unfortunately. So, yeah, Tesla, I'm just going to wait, wait for the two green bars. So I've talked about this before, but, you know, I position size so that I can add, which I did to it. So <clears throat> always fine if it goes against me based on my position size. But I, one thing that I don't do is I don't look at my P&L. It's one thing I actually started uh, about last year at this time, I think. And uh, it's really helped that, that mindset, not, not looking at my P&L. Yeah, I feel like I should be getting filled here in Boeing. Did you get filled in Boeing? Bumblebee. Okay, I had a dollar ninety five filled at a buck ninety five in Boeing. Thank goodness. Oh, Tesla, yucky. <laughs> Got a little bit of a flush going on here in some of these. NASDAQ has to be red. No, it's still green. I'm just looking at all these NASDAQ stocks just coming down. Stocks on the business channel I've got on says stocks rise after jobless claims data. I'm not rising too much. I can tell you that. Boeing's the one that needs to be flushing for us. But you can see, like, there's just not the volume on these. Like, there's just not like NVIDIA, all of all these main stocks. There's just no volume to trade with. Yeah, you know me. I'm a rule follower, man. Except for yesterday's Baidu trade. It was NTT. <laughs> now it's up via <laughs> third percent. Well, I had watched it for like three days just continue to fall. And I thought the NTT trade was going to turn red on me. The, the candlestick. And by the end of the day, so I cut it and then it never did. And now it's up 3%. Boeing is not going down. <laughs> Today looks like it's shaping up to be a, a day like yesterday with some, maybe some. Wild swings. Look at Amazon. And it came down to this pivot and just bounced. Ah, Boeing popping back up, darn it. So Boeing did not participate in the little flush. It's 
So if Boeing has a volume runner, but if it pushes above this little consolidation, I'll probably just cut it. Right, blockchain, trying to push through highs of day. Boeing's kind of back up to where I got in at. Right above that pivot. Look at Roku. Push up, push down, push up, push down. Those are hard days to trade when the price action is that way. Yeah, I'm just not seeing any volume in, in in a lot of these. I'm guessing we're going to see a lot of chop here again today. Boeing's already started to chop. Baba's definitely chop. Looking for two good pushes up in Tesla, then we can get out. Yeah, look at Roblox. I mean, brutal. Yeah, you know, if you're in a 1DT trade and there's a lot of chop, you'll start feeling the faded decay. I mean, if it doesn't push down and push through lows pretty soon, I may just bail on it as well. It needs to push through lows for me here. I mean, you look at Roku even. It looks like it's got these big pushes, but Really, it's less than a point on a $94 stock. Yeah, the wild swings yesterday, I, I heard, were due to the bonds, whatever. I haven't seen this in a while. Something like Bob is doing.
Okay, Tesla gave us one green bar. Can it push up and give us one more? Yeah, so Boeing, ah, I want it to push back down. It's starting to look a lot like Baba. I got a Zoom call at 9.45 Central, so definitely have a hard stop at 9.30 Central today. Now, Boeing, it may, it may push lows at some point today, but who knows when. It could be, could be an hour from now. It could be two hours from now. It could be 15 minutes from now. Definitely, definitely chop going on. All the indices are in the green right now. So I want to come back down, but bounces off that pivot. I think I've already already feeling some faded decay in Boeing. Yeah, if Boeing doesn't push through here, I'm going to bail on it. Afraid I'm just going to be sitting there watching chop. Not a lot of opportunities today. All right, Boeing. Now's your opportunity to push through lows. This is worse than a Friday. I wonder what tomorrow's going to be like. It's a Friday and it's the last trading day in 2023. <laughs> that would be interesting. Fridays are usually muted and this will be a Friday <clears throat> on the last trading day of the year. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm going to cut Boeing too. It just doesn't look like it's going to push through right now. I'm going to go ahead and cut it. How much time we got left on this bar? I just changed. 
Okay. Let me give it, let me give it, since it just changed, I'm going to give it one minute. See what it does. No, no second green bar in Tesla. There's 30 seconds. It's got 30 more seconds to show me something. Fifteen seconds. If it stays red, I'll go another minute. Okay, it is still red. Mm. No, it's not. Cutting it. Those are buck eighty-seven. Close Boeing. All right. Now I've just got Tesla left. It's time to get strong, Tesla. Yeah, I got filled on got filled on part of my iron condor from this morning. Zero DT iron condor. Close to half. Apple pushing up. Come on, join your friends here, Tesla. Amazon pushing up, Meta trying to rebound, Microsoft trying to rebound, DKNG trying to rebound, uh, Baidu, Airbnb. AMD pushing highs. It's time for Tesla to rip through highs. Uh, my zero DTE, I go, I do 20%, then 40%, and I scale out, scale out that way 20, 40, 60. I originally start with half of it. So I'll do half, scale out 20%, half, and then I, Depending on how many contracts are, and I usually go to down, you know, two, two or three after that. Like I did 10 contracts, and I'm, I got out of five, so now I'll get out of two more at 40%. Well, Tesla. 
Gave us one green bar. Will it give us a second here? And look at Boeing. <laughs> Two big red bars, man. You would think that thing would drop. But no. Sure didn't. I can think I'm experiencing some fate of decay in Tesla as well. And AMD pushed through highs of day. Come on, let's get strong. Let's get strong, Tesla. And it's a really tight range, too. You can see Tesla, I mean, it's about a point on a $260 stock over the last 30 minutes. Good for theta decay iron condors, not good for buying calls and puts. It's right at about where I added to it. <laughs> Roku. Up, down, up, down, up. I mean, a lot of these stocks have given a couple decent pushes to consecutive. I mean, when I say decent, I mean they're still they're still tight range, but but distinct, distinct two green bars consecutive. You know, Nvidia is working on its second one right now. I mean, that's I I'd take that in Tesla right now. So I'm going to get ready for my Zoom call here. Um, I'll give Tesla a little bit of time here to give spit out two green bars in a row. Got an order in at 395 to close half. Hopefully here in the next 10 or 15 minutes, it, it decides to take the path of Meta, NVIDIA, Apple, and spit out two green bars like that. So I will be back tomorrow and don't have high hopes for lots of trades, but we'll see if we get lucky. So everybody have a great day. I will catch you tomorrow. Peace.